yeah that's the container so everything is in <clears throat> everything is wrapped in this container main class so that's how we want that so let's save it and reload and you can see we have all the uh, tabs here and they're not working yet which is fine for now oh I'm sorry they are working all right, so the, the JavaScript is actually working. So we need to style this. And we're going to add some custom uh, JavaScript jQuery as well. Um, and that's basically going to be for this, for the active um, tab to move when we click one. Because you see the slide is moving correctly. It's going to the right one. But we want this background to change. All right, so let's go ahead and go in the style sheet. And we got quite a bit to do here. Might want to just give it a little comment. Uh, what is it? Carousel styles. All right. So first we'll do my carousel itself, which is just going to have a margin. Oh, margin bottom. And that's going to be 20. All right, and <clears throat> we want to do the caption. So my carousel dot carousel caption. All right, and we're going to set this. Uh, we're going to set left to zero and right to zero. Bottom zero and we want to text align to the left add some padding here 10 pixels and background okay so the background is going to be transparent so we're going to use RGBA and we want to pass in 0 0 0 0 0.6 give that a little uh, transparency uh, and then we want to just set the text shadow to none all right now for the h4 in the list okay which is this here these titles or these headings so we need to do my carousel slider list uh, H4. And actually, you know what? We're going to put that off for a minute because we still have some work to do with the carousel caption. We want to do the H4 for that first. Um, and for that, we just want to make sure that it's white so we can see it. All right. And then for the paragraph. For the paragraph, I'm going to just zero out the padding and margin. All right. Now, let's see. Now we can go into the slider list itself. And we're going to set that to position absolute. And we want to set it to the top right. All right. And then, actually, you know what? I'm going to set this to list group. All right. And then we want to do the list group item. So I'm going to copy that list group item. I'm going to set the border radius to zero and set the cursor to a pointer so the user knows they can click it. All right, now for the active, okay, list group item, I'm sorry, uh, not item, we want just list group, my carousel list group dot active. And 
for the active, we want the background to be uh, triple E and border zero and the color of the text will be a grayish color. All right, um, what else? I guess the H4. So we're gonna say list group H4. Um, what are we doing? Font size. Font size, we're gonna set that to 17 pixels. We're gonna zero out the margin and padding and put an important flag. And then just set padding top to five pixels. Okay, uh, now for the image, which will be uh, my carousel image slide. And we are going to set the width of the image to 80 pixels. We're going to set the height to 100%. We want to fold the image to the left and set a margin right of 5 pixels. Alright, so let's just take a look at it. Alright, so looking good. Okay, the slide's working. Now the active tab isn't being highlighted here because we need to add some JavaScript. Um, let's see, why is this? This is a little big here. And you know what? This should actually fix when we do the um, JavaScript. But I think that's pretty much it for the CSS for the carousel. So now we want to open up our JavaScript file, which we don't have yet, so we have to create that. Okay, so we're going to call this main.js. And we'll open that up. And then we want to go to the index.html and include that file down at the bottom here. So we'll just say js slash main.js. So I'm going to paste this in because uh, I just don't want to spend all the time typing out JavaScript. Uh, it's not really, JavaScript isn't required for you to take this course, so I think it's a little much to just, uh, to really focus on. But basically, I'll go through it real quick. We're using jQuery, which is represented by the dollar sign. Uh, we're basically saying when the document is ready, when it's loaded, then we're going to do this. Um, we'll get, we're adding a click event. Uh, well, we're setting the click event to false, and then we're going to initiate the carousel. Okay. Uh, right here and we're setting the interval to 4000 milliseconds uh, you can change that if you want if you want to speed it up or slow it down and then here we're saying on click if we click one of the list items on the side then um, we're going to add the class active alright and that's gonna give us the CSS for the the gray background for the active tab uh, and then this here Let's see what's going on here. Basically, we're just uh, adding and removing the active class. That's basically what this whole thing does. Everything else is taken care of uh, in the bootstrap JavaScript file. And this down here, this box height item link, this has to do with the height of these of the tabs here. You can see that it's it's larger than this than its left side. All right, so let's save that. Make sure you just copy that as is. Save it and reload. And now you'll see when we click on a tab, it, it becomes active. And you'll also see that it lines up with the left side. Now we do have one issue here, and it's that it seems that this, this uh, main image is going through to the, to the right side over here. So let's see 
why it's doing that. Oh, actually, I know why it's doing that. We actually have a couple media queries that we need to do uh, to make this responsive. And one of the styles in the media queries is preventing, is going to stop this from happening. All right, so let's just do that real quick. I know we're running out of time on this video. Uh, so media, we're going to do a min width of 992. And let's see, we're going to say my carousel. We want to set padding right. OK, so this is where that the problem is. Um, Anything above 992 is going to get this this style, which is going to be padding right 33.3333 percent. All right, and we're going to set the controls uh, to display none. So we want my carousel dot carousel controls. display none. All right, and while we're doing this, we might as well add the rest. So we're going to do another media query. And this one's going to be max width 991. All right, and we're going to say we're going to get rid of the um, the caption paragraph because it's just it's not it's going to be too much to fit. All right, you can see that there's too much text here. Uh, and there's too much text here as well. So we're going to just shorten that up. So carousel caption. Uh, actually carousel caption P. And then we also want Whoops, my carousel. List group. Display none. And we're going to set a media query for uh, for when it's below twelve hundred pixels. And we're going to take out this paragraph here. So max width 1200. And we want slider list paragraph display none. All right. So we'll reload. And there we go. All right, so that looks good. Uh, oh, this is the wrong page. Reload. All right, so that looks just like that. So that's what we want. So in the next video, we're going to move on to the rest of the home page. Okay, these blog posts down here and these side widgets. So I will see you in the next video.